Okay, I'm running the Merc right now because I have the um, coolant replaced and all the hoses and the two thermostats. Uh, I did have a pretty massive leak coming out of one of the thermostats, uh, so I put a new gasket and some gasket view on that side. It looks like it had that problem before because there's some corrosion on the head from where the water had been uh, seeping out. But then yesterday when I started it, I saw some little um, droplets of liquid kind of coming in between the fins of the radiator and I was really quite worried about that because I'd rather not have to have this one rebuilt. Um, they're kind of expensive to recore and they're really expensive to rebuy. But uh, today it's not doing that. There might be a little tiny bit of moisture on just on the corner there and I'll show you that later but it's nothing like it was yesterday. And also the um, left hand thermostat does not seem to be seeping today. I do still have a rag down there just in case. See the temp gauge there is slowly climbing. I put in um, 160 degree thermostats. There's some debate on the internet as to whether 160 or 180 is the way to go on a flathead. A lot of people say they'd rather it run 20 degrees hotter in order to get, uh, <clears throat> well, to heat up the oil better and um, to burn deposits and all that sort of stuff. So I don't know, if I redo this I might take them up on that, but uh, I'm probably going to order some thermostat housings anyway, because uh, both of them are pretty pitted at the at the mating surface, and of course that's where leaks happen, no matter <clears throat> how much gasket material you try and put in there, the water finds a way through. Um, I'm going to just keep an eye on the radiator and <clears throat> make sure that that's not a serious issue. I think I would like to put a, um, well, an actual numeric uh, gauge in here somewhere to uh, for the temperature and all that stuff. It's much more accurate than this kind of thing. But uh, unlike most of my other cars, you can see the uh, temperature gauge works. The uh, ammeter works. Fuel gauge sort of works. I can't remember how accurate it is, but I think it, uh, I think it's roughly. And the uh, oil temp. Actually, that's probably not oil temp, that's uh, oil pressure. The clock does not, but I don't think I've ever had a car that had a working clock in it. Um, against my initial assessment on this thing, I was going to bypass the heater core. But I did open it up and it looked in pretty good shape. It wasn't scaly, it was... It was I don't know, it may have been replaced in the last 10 or 15 years. Um, <clears throat> so I hooked it up, but now I find that there is a slight leak coming out of the heater core, and I may have to bypass it after all. Let's go have a quick look at that. Let's check the temperature here again. Temperature against these upper rat hoses here. There's the head temperature, so it's not uh, enough to open up the thermostats yet. Put them on the top here. So I, was, I was seeing a bit of leakage down here. You can see it's still wet. I don't see a drip right now, but I bet you it'll come once it heats up. And right now I'm not seeing any of that seepage. A little bit down there, but I'll check it once we turn it off. It's kind of dry right now. Oh, this side looks like it may. Uh, getting up to the temperature to open. So 
similar <coughs> there's a similar temp on each uh, side so that's a good sign it's within four or five degrees I have heard that some uh, flatheads will sometimes run quite a bit hotter on one side than the other like you know 20 25 degrees and I'd rather not see that it would probably mean that the water pump on that side is weak So this right here at, well, not quite three-quarter market, but uh, that I'd say is kind of where 160 degrees hits for the uh, thermostat to open. I haven't looked it up in the manual yet, but I don't know if this gauge is only showing me one side or whether it's an aggregate of two sides there does seem to be a wire in each of the uh, uh, temperature sensor holes but I'm not sure how it's aggregating that into one gauge I might get two temp gauges and maybe have a switch where you can switch it left to right or left to right and off or something like that The odometer currently showing 2,336 miles. Who the hell knows? I guarantee it's been around once. But perhaps more. Um, Dad didn't put a whole lot of miles on it. previous owner had it stored for four or five years I think in a garage and uh, they'd owned it for ten or something like that but uh, I don't know I guess the most miles it would have had on it was when it was doing the whole grease thing I wasn't able to open up the air vent on the side there's something stick in this whole mechanism so I'll, I'll have to climb under the dash or whatever and see what's going on with that you're supposed to open both of these in order to let the coolant flow through the uh, that heater core there Check attempts. <clears throat> you can see this gauge is kind of staying roughly there. Stable, I think. And it's only gone up a couple of degrees since we were over. Still above 160, though. Yeah, see this side is, uh, and now there's quite a big difference here. Not on the head itself, but on the um, sender um, orifice here. 181. Yeah, it's interesting. It's not what I was seeing earlier, but I guess I wasn't really checking that particular spot. I was looking more at the um, Mm. Um, the actual head temperature, so 164. <clears throat> 170, so that's more like, well, 6 degrees. So that's not too bad. Interesting in the uh, thing there, though. So where the sensor meets, it's quite a difference, but not so much on just uh, some random part of the head. And 60 the rad core, and 45 on the top tank.
carburetor, 100 G's. Thirty-five on the fuel line, though. Surprised it's not boiling. These engines are known uh, occasionally for vapor lock and for boiling uh, fuel, but. Seven lower head. Yeah, so those are pretty matched now. And yeah, let's say one eighty. Yeah, so ten degrees. The gauge would be quite a ways up, but maybe it's yeah, it's up higher than it was. Anyway, I'm going to shut it down. That's a good test for leaks. Anyway.